is January 29th, period two. This is section 12.2.2, write explicit equations for arithmetic sequences. Make sure you get all of this in your notes. Pause the video right now. All right, this is our first problem. So last week, we, um, I gave you a, an equation and you listed the terms, okay? Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the list of terms, you're gonna write the equation. They're called, it's called an explicit equation. Um, this equation that I'm giving you, the formula I'm giving you for writing equations um, of arithmetic sequences is only if the sequence is arithmetic, okay? So your first job is to determine are you looking at an arithmetic sequence? Class, is this arithmetic? Class, is this sequence arithmetic? Yes. <laughs> what is the common difference? Negative three. Negative three. <laughs> All right, in order to use this formula, we need a D and we need an A sub one. What's A sub one?
19 minus 3 times 13 minus 1. I got negative 19. Okay, so the 13th term is negative 19. Next problem. And Neil, take off that hat. I got 250. So the 28th term of that sequence is 250. Okay. And I think that definitely you would prefer to do this instead of listing 28 terms of that sequence. Can you try this one by yourself? All right, so my D. taking a quiz on both yesterday's stuff and today's stuff. So that quiz includes determining if the sequence is arithmetic, if it is state the common difference, and then today's stuff, writing an explicit equation of an arithmetic sequence, and finding a term that's a big number, a big, big number term. All on tomorrow's quiz. I'm going to give you your bookwork right now. Three problems for book work. 